how to convert your WordPress website into an application. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can convert your WordPress website into an app. So let's get into it. Now, the tool that we're going to be using is called App My Site. It's a very cool tool. It's free to use and you can turn any site into a mobile application. There's another site called Median and you can use it also. So let's get into it. So it's free as you can see. However, there is a pricing plan. So as you can see right here, pay per app, unlimited workshop or agency. So you can go ahead and check that out as well. So let's say we want pay per app, right? and we want wordpress to app then it's going to cost us nine dollars for the starter plan pro for the 19 dollars for the pro plan and 39 dollars for the premium ones and down below you can see all the features that come with it in the free plan you only get one android app wordpress to app in app browser customizable design real device testing and push notification monetization features and team collaboration so everything looks good and in the starter ones you get one app all of those you also get accelerated app builds and no app my site branding so in this one you will have app my site branding in this one you won't whereas in the pro version you get all of those and you also get user consent that's it but yeah for now we're going to stick with the free plan and click on get started create an account and then turn our website into an application so i'm going to sign up with my google account and we have our options right here. So over here you have paper app, unlimited workshop, and you have agency white label. So you can go ahead and select whichever one you want. So for now, we're going to go with paper app loading up and over here, we are good to go. Now we can go ahead and get started. And over here, we have to give this app a name as well. You can web the app or WordPress the app. Here we go. We'll select WordPress. And now we just enter in the URL of our website. But before that, let's go ahead and take a look at our website and see how it looks and if we want to change it up a little bit. I'm going to go to the template section, actually go into the appearance and select starter templates and create a, the website using a starter template. So as you can see, this is how it looks like, looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and select this one. And now we are going to add our link right here and give this app a name and click on create. So over here, you just simply have to enter the password of your WordPress website, the username and the password, and then just hit verify and you should be good to go. And now that that's done, all we have to do is click on verify and save. Could have clicked save and then verified, but you know what? I didn't save it. And there we go. API has been connected successfully. Okay. So for this, you have to come over here onto your dashboard on your WordPress, go into users. And here you will find the email. Here you will find the username and then if you scroll down you will find the application password we need to input over here so make sure you enter the password over here and here are exactly the same and then just simply hit update profile so here you have to input the password name so let's say this is app my site or you can just simply add in, in the username as well just to make things simpler and then click on add new application password and there you have the password and then just simply go ahead and copy it and then go back over here and paste it and hit verify and it should work there you go as you can see it's connected and we are good to go now that that's done we are now connected with our wordpress website and we have given it access as well now we can go ahead and edit the application itself and now we go into the design section and click on app icon and now we click on start designing and start designing our app icon so over here, you have a bunch of different options to choose from, but you know, it depends on you. You can even search for a template as well. So let's go ahead and cookbook. So we have this application right here. So we can go with this one. Uh, we'll change all of this text to Nicole. I think we have to do it manually. So something like this, and then we'll just simply click on save. And now we have our app design and we click on save and we are good to go. All right, now I am going to preview the application. If I just simply click on preview, uh, it's going to open up this little preview section where we can see how it would look like right here if it's open. So as you can see, this is how the application itself looks like. Looks pretty cool. If I go ahead and scroll down, yeah, looks pretty good. Everything looks good. We can go ahead and allow for notifications over here are going to be our blog sections, our about section, videos and menu. So yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty good very simple this is how you do it after that you can go ahead and you know customize it however you want you can add downloadables chat merges and all of the other ones but yeah mostly speaking this is how you do it this is how you turn your website into an application 
All right, now that we've done it, now let's go over to the other website called Mediano or median.co. And over here, it's also free, but as you can see, there is a pricing plan. So there are three types of pricing plan, the self-service, the full service, and the enterprise. Uh, self-service has the free version in it. We can get started and launch a native app and we can send unlimited push notifications with our one sign. And we can see all of the features right here, as you can see. And then we have self-service professional, which is $790, which is a one-time fee. And then we have full service and concierge app development as well, which is $6,590. So let's go ahead and start with the free version and click on build an app. Here we have to upload the URL of our website. So let me just copy from here, come over here and paste it like so. We give it the app's name. We'll say Nicole's cookbook. That's what we'll call it. And then we can add like a valid email as well. So I'll just add my own email and then we'll click on start building my app. And over here you could see the preview, but yeah, now we have the icon option. So we can change the icon on both Android and Apple. So let's go ahead and do that. If we already have an image of it, we can upload it over here. But so let me just go ahead and do that. Upload a random image. Just do this like so. And same with this one as well. I'll upload the white one for the Android. Give it a couple of seconds to save. And I think that looks good. Now, over here on the left, if we scroll down, we can see uh, some more options. We can see, you know, the colors for Android and iOS. Same thing with other settings. And now we have link handling on the left hand side. We have other options. Now, in link handling, we can add uh, other you know links over here such as for facebook we can go ahead and add the external links to all these different uh you know options then we have the interface itself so over here you can see we have app light and dark so if we click on the app like right here we can go ahead and start it as well so let me actually see it it's loading up and while it that loads let's go ahead and take a look at other options as well so we have other full screen native so Right now, I would say that this has much more options than the previous website. It is a little bit confusing as well because, you know, you don't know what you're actually doing. But yeah, you have a lot of options such as user agent over here, web override, custom headers and all of that. Let's load it up. Let's go ahead and tap it and play. There we go. I think it's loading up. It's installing the application right now. And this is it. It's all opening up. It's a little bit slow, but that's okay because, you know, it's a preview doing processing in the background. And yeah. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. It's loaded up. Let me see if I can scroll down and interact with it. There we go. It's scrolling up. It is, it is slow. I would say that, but yeah, you know what? It does work. It looks pretty good. Uh, can I increase the size of it so that we can, you know, go ahead and see more? I don't think so. I'll go with 150. Okay, here we go. This looks much better. If I scroll up, let me percent i think that looks good yeah so yeah it does look pretty good uh it's a little bit slow but that's okay and we can also check out the android preview as well so right here we click on tap to play it's loading up right now we can even change the devices as well so keep yeah but coming back to the main setup you know it has a lot of different options you can check it out and once you have added all these different uh you know interfaces such as face ids and uh, apps and native apps and all these other options you click on build and download and then over here you just simply click on build sources and build binary or build sources whatever you want to choose it depends on you once that's done you just simply download it and your application is ready to be installed onto your phone and you are good to go so very simple this is how you do it this is how you build the application on the median.co app so yeah now I've shown you two of different websites. Uh, one is the app my site. The other one is median.co. You can go ahead and check it out. Choose whichever website you want. See whichever one works for you. Whichever one gives you the better value and options and go with that. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.